Hi guys, so I'm here and I'm using um, a different camera. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a look using my Cinderella palette from MAC. And so far all the colors I've used is from this palette, never mind the hair situation. I am wearing a wig. Um, so my skin is prepped. My face was washed and everything and I did use this as an all over face primer. Um, yesterday after using the Maybelline Baby Skin I did notice that I have a little bit of a rise right here. So I'm watching that. I already treated it. So back to the eye look. Um, I didn't carve up my brows yet in terms of, I filled them in, but I didn't neaten them yet. So those are going to be sculpted in a bit. However, I used this primer from Urban Decay. I began the look using this color and this color from the um, Cinderella palette and I am now applying the darkest shade in the palette which is this one and that is what you see in my crease I'm using my MAC 221 brush to apply this into the crease because it just gets the crease area very well and uh, you can see if I pull like this, which is a little trick I learned from Sam, Sam Fine, in order to, if you have a little bit of a hooded brow, um, lid, <laughs> brow, you can pull up like this gently and you can actually get in and define your crease without, you know, doing that weird eye look thing. All right. So that's what's there so far. And I think I want to warm up the look just a little bit. I have a big cup of water. Look, my big mug. It's a really big mug. I'm getting my water in. So, in order to warm up that look, I am going to use the Tartlet palette. And I'm just going to go in with... Um, I think I might try best friend and just get in there just a little bit reaching for a brush and it's a Mac brush a 222 tapping off the excess and I'm just gonna go right above where I have the other two colors and the darkest color with best friend and just put a little bit of can you see that guys yes it's pretty much what I want from there and I'm gonna do the other thing on the other side just gently buffing it in Notice I'm not doing windshield wiper motions, guys. I'm just like walking the brush right on the edge in tiny circular motions instead of doing that windshield wiper motion because I do not want to get the color all the way up into my brow area. <clears throat> I want it to stay right in that spot. So this way it's blending while I'm applying and I get the color to be concentrated where I'd like the color. Okay. So just like that. It's like little wiggly motions back and forth. All right. Put that away. And I haven't decided the color I want on my lids. So, I am going to take my Urban Decay, not my Makeup Forever palette, and I'm going to take this color 
on the end right here, this one, and I'm going to apply that to my lid area. And the only primer, I'm not using an extra base, I'm just using that primer, just that anti-aging primer is on my lid. And with shadows like these, if you've primed your eye properly, due to the pigmentation of the shadow, you will not need an actual base. Okay, so guys, that is pretty much it. That is pretty much the look. And that's an acne dark spot. And now I'm going to just line my eyes. I'm just going to line my eyes, put on my mascara, and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. So hi guys, this is the finished look and let me zoom in so you guys can see properly and I'm going to tell you what I use to complete the look. Alright, so as you may have figured out, I am still using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation and my shade is 5W1 Bronze 42. This baby right here. I love it. And underneath that, I did prep my skin with the Nivea Post Shave Balm. And this is for men. It's an aftershave, okay? It's an aftershave balm. <laughs> and I can say I'm liking it so far. Video on that will be coming soon. On top of my foundation, even though it doesn't need, um, when it dries down, this foundation doesn't need a lot to keep it set. But I like applying my Makeup Forever Duo Matte on top of that just to keep it flawless for the day. And it works. I just, I think I may touch up my nose maybe once for the day. And that was last Saturday. I was out and about all day and I had to just powder my nose one time. That was that. Okay, so to complete the eye look, as you can see, I did line my eyes. I did not wing it. I used this um, liquid liner. I have a love-hate relationship with liquid liners. I swear they hate me. I always mess something up. However, today I did not do that. I did mess up my nail, but I it was just my nail. Anyway, um, this is the NYX liquid liner that I used. I used the CoverGirl Lash Bloom mascara. So that's my mascara today. And I'm putting that back into the container. I also used the light, the lighter shade, this one. They have names on the back, but I'm not wearing my glasses, you guys. So, you know, if you have this palette and I'm pointing them out to you, you'll probably, you'll know which color it is. So this shade right here, where my finger is at, is the one that I use on my brow beneath my brow actually as a highlight color and of course you know I apply this one and this one to the crease this one um, as transition colors this one in the crease and the makeup forever shade this color right here is some third row second color if you can see that and underneath the eyes, I use this black one underneath there. Then I went in with Max Landscape Green Pencil, and this is a pro product. So that is the green that you're seeing on the waterline. Yeah, Landscape Green from Mac. Love that liner. And uh, let me give you a quick swatchy swatch on the hand. That is what it looks like. Landscape green. 
love that pencil okay guys so I used one brush to do my blush and the blush that I used today is from if you saw my vanity overview video then you'll know that I have a drawer here that I've put items in it's not a I, I don't I'm not calling it a makeup basket or makeup bin it's just items that I'm gonna use often that I'd like to use often and then the eyeshadows and the other stuff I'll switch out but there are three main palettes four main palettes in that drawer that I will not take out all right so the blush of choice is taken from the blush palette that is in there this is from eyes of space cosmetics and I use this color today on my cheek so that is the blush and this is the dark palette it's the only one from them that I have the other thing that I did use is my Sun Queen bronzer from Rimmel and I'll never finish this look at that size oh my goodness I'll never finish that bad boy but I intend to try all right so the highlight as you guys can see look at that highlight it's just glowing oh my gosh the highlight is from the Beauty Treats bronzer palette looks like that and it's the first shade this this one first color right there okay so that is the highlighting shade that you're looking at right there could you see the light did you see that light just bouncing on my cheek oh honey child please mm. okay let's talk about my lips so I'm wearing um, like a tank top thingy one of those little tops so I decided to go with uh, my matte lipstick Craven Coral and this is from Maybelline and I paired it with Max Cherry Lip Liner so that is the look you guys and let me turn off this light Ooh, can you see that better yeah that light was uber bright oh my goodness okay so there is the look see that's where I have a little thingy coming out look at that glow oh my gosh and the hair is sweet girl and I think it's my free choice I don't remember but I know her name is sweet girl and that's all she wrote so that is my look you guys and uh, yeah yes so as usual thank you guys for watching please thumbs up the video subscribe I know that there is one of you heifers out there that don't like me for nothing every video I post you're quick to thumbs down the video but you know what it's okay I like it at least one person doesn't like my videos I don't know why you keep watching you must really like me hmm but you know what I really don't mind because when you watch and you thumbs down the video it at least tells me you're watching the video okay it at least tells me that I, you I mean so much to you that you feel the need to actually watch every video I post and then to put a thumbs down on it so you care you absolutely care and I absolutely love that you care so enjoy and have a good one as I always say you are champagne and don't you let anyone treat you like bear have a good day guys like and share the video Mwah.